was in the church. Someone came and he was anger. Yeah. Now someone has left the food. Yeah, he's not in the church. And you could even witness him as a self. And so much amazing. And the person was calling him. Yeah. Now come. I had to you witness him. Dad, you are angry, even your children. Come in front. When the person came. According to my own understanding, I thought that he wanted to give me something. I had a sound. And then raise up your hand, the church. We pray for this person. Amen. But after prayers, and I'm not a conversation, okay, you must go and sit down. God has already answered. Praise God. Then I just remember asking many questions. How has God done it? Have the prayers did you fly and descend in the house? What kind of miracle has happened to bring the flag? Praise God. Then I just remember asking many questions. How what do our take corner? I'm a good Jew and you see the guy in the mirror. This people, these people, they don't want to know the battery that is, is, is defeating you. They don't want to know. But this is my son. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if you are made with those types of people. But this is my son. Amen. In the hall, you are with a Baba, and you are calling this person the father. But the way you did, and you say that he's your father. Eh? Atakisema, where's the other finger? If he speaks, no one can be against. Amen. And I'm going to be a good one. He's praying for you to go and sleep anger. Yeah, katika sinagogi meza yake. And in the church on his table. Juice iko hapa metulia to the ah, they are cold juice. Ibali nendelea na nakunywa juice. And service continues, he just enjoying the cold juice. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Wewe naye na watoto, you and your children. When you will lala nja, as you sleep the anger. Ukiamka asubuhi. When you wake up in the morning. Kile ambacho imeingia kwa mdomo yako, what has entered in your mouth? Ni maji na toothbrush ukibrush. It's only water and the toothbrush. Ukikuja kanisani when you are coming to the church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Alafu muda na kuwekelea mikono. Someone is putting on hands on you. Ya kwamba Mungu ametenda. That God has already done. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Ah only we see now. These the people that are thieves, that are robbers, that are robot club, they are sorcerers. Wako na majina yote mabaya. They have all the bad names on them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa sababu jambo la kwanza wana depend. They call the first thing they love themselves. Na katika huo wakati bado wamekutwika mizigo mizito. And at the same time burdening you. Hawataki kujua wewe unapitia hali gani. They don't want to care your burdens. Lakini bado wanakubilia hiji. And at the same time also preaching to you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Hey. And the Bible says these people. Ah, they like front and valuable chairs. Zina mazi metenge wa tu. And there's so those furniture that have been set aside. Ah, watu kuna wana tofauti kati yao na viongozi wa dunia. These people they don't have a difference with the leaders of this world. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa sababu wakati tuko na mkutano mali fulani. When we have a meeting somewhere. Unaanga kiti imetengwa ya ya president. Now you can see a seat being set aside for the president. Nyingine imeandikwa ya MP. Another one for the MP. Nyingine imeandikwa ya governor. Another one for the governor. Hata muwe wengi kiasi gani. You are going to be many. Hakuna mtu atakanya hiyo. No one can sit on this one. Mpaka yule kiongozi akuje akelee. Except the one that has been ordained. Hiyo ndio kiti na hiyo ndio kiti ambayo inafanyika kanisani. That's what also happening in the church. Hata mkae mjaze even if you sit and all the everyone has been defeated. When Gina was imami, other people just to stand. Now we are mute at the fake and the person has not come. Una una see that you name it again. We need it. This is back and the city is for our father. But this is special. Amen. How are the people who are going to be here? They don't have a difference with the leaders of this world. But this is special. Amen. Now they did not miss. And they call themselves servants. Hallelujah. Amen. To show me to carry there. Ah, let us let us continue. Verse seven. Now verse seven. 
They love to be, greet, to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. And to be called teacher. And tena wanapenda kuitwa walimu. Bwana zote. Ah, these people they want all respect. Unapotembea when you are walking. Ukikutana nao when you meet them. Lazima wasalimie kwa heshima. You have to greet them with it. Respect. Kuna watu um, kuna dini fulani. There was a certain kind of religion. Wale wakikutana hata kama ni sokoni. Here when, when they meet even in in the market places. Kila mtu kwa magoti chini. Everyone must kneel down. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Na wanasalimiana kwa heshima and they also greet each other with respect. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Kama ni kuhani even if it's a priest, ah, uh, na mshirika amefika. Ah, uh, now uh, uh, the members come. Wale kuwanda shutukia tu mshirika tena kwa mabao. The 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 priest will see now a, a, a member kneeling down. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Na kupewa majina ya mazuri na mazuri being given a good names. Sawa sawa na maandiko yanavyosema as the Bible says. Ya kama wataka kuitwa walimu, they walimu. want also to be called the teachers and they are not teachers. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Wanataka kuitwa walimu what they want to be called the teachers. Lakini yale ambao wanafundisha. But what they are teaching. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. 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 Kwamba, the Bible says, "Our oh, what are we to be called They are not supposed even to be called teachers. In fact, kakuna mtu ambaye anastahili kuitwa mwalimu. In fact, there is no one who is supposed to be called a teacher. Na mwali, kwa sababu mwalimu wetu ni mmoja. Because our teacher is one. Ambaye ni Yesu Kristo. Is Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Mwalimu ni mmoja. Our teacher is one that is Jesus Christ. How about the the rest? Hakuna mwalimu. There's no teacher. Amen. Maandiko yanaeleza vizuri Jinsi hao watu wanataka yani katika maisha yao the way these people want in their lives. Wanataka kujitwika majina yani they want the kind of life they, they want. want to claim on their big names. Na katika wale wanachukua nafasi ya Mungu and in that same time they are taking good position. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Hebu tusome let us let us we continue. Verse 8. Now verse 8. You must not be called a teacher. Musi intre mwalimu. Because you are all members of one family. Kwa hapo nyinyi wote ni watu wa familia moja. And have only one one teacher. Na mko tuna mwalimu mmoja. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Ya kwamba sisi ni jamii moja. All of us we are one family. Na katika hiyo jamii yetu and in this family Tuko na mwalimu mmoja. We only have one teacher. Ambaye anatufundisha. The one who is teaching us. Na anatuelekeza. Leading us. Sisi sote. All of us. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Na huyo mtu ni Yesu Kristo. And that the teacher is Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo unapojiita mwalimu, when you call you as to be a teacher. Unachukua nafasi ya Yesu Kristo. Now you are taking the position of Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Atuna mwalimu yote. We don't have any teacher. Ila tu sisi ni watu wa familia moja. Ah, all of us we are of the same family. Kumaanisha sisi ni mandugu. It means all of us we are brothers and sisters. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Na katika hiyo hali mwalimu tunaye ambaye ni mmoja. And in that way we have one teacher. Ambaye anatuelimisha. The one teaching us. Ambaye anaelimisha wale watu ambao wanakaa katika masinagogi. And teaching all the people in the temple. Huyo ndiye anatufunza yule mtu ambaye ako katika ambaye anajiita baba. And the one who is teaching us, the one teaching us, the one who is going to father. Na huyo pia ndiye anafaa kukufundisha wewe mimi. And the one also teaching when you see that person, you are going to do understand that all of us we are brothers and sisters. Now, verse number nine. And verse number nine. And you, not, you must not call anyone here on earth, Father. Because you have only the Father, the, because you have only the one Father. Amen. Now we have reached on that uh, uh, session of the Father. We should not call anyone the Father. Why? Because we have only one Father. 
ambaye ni Mungu. Ah, that the Father is the God. Na kwa mbinguni. Ah, this ni heaven. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Amen. Bas. Now, hata nikuulize swali. Let me ask a question. Mbona maandiko yanatuambia kwamba tuko na baba mmoja? Why does the Bible say that we have only one father? Ili kuaje akawa baba yako? Why is it that he became to be your father? Nikikuuliza amekuaje baba yako na nijibu ni When I ask how did he become your father? How will you ask? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Nani ako najibu? Who is having the answer? Yes. Sababu yeye ndio alituumba. Sababu yeye ndio alituumba. Amen. He saying because he became his father because he is the one who created him. Mwingine? Another one. Kama tuna hivyo not any other answer. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yes, I want us to look. Katika kitabu cha Yohana, we read the book of John. Chapter 1, we are reading John 1, verse number 12 and we are reading verse 12. Ili tukaweze kujua ya kwamba so that we can know imekuaje wewe uka uka ukaita Mungu baba yako how did it become for you to call God your Ye, father hiyo mamlaka umepata aje where have you eh, 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 found this authority bwana Yesu asifiwe sana amen. amen verse number 12 pinasema John chapter 1 verse number 12 some however did receive him and believed in him na wengine walimkubali na wakamwamini so he gave them the right to be to become God's children. Na sasa akawafanya kuwa wana wa Mungu. They did not they did not become God's children by natural means. Ah wapo wafanyika watoto wa Mungu kimwili. That is by being born as the children of human father. Ah ni kwa kuzaliwa katika njia ya kikawaida ya mwili. God himself was their father. Lakini Mungu mwenyewe ndio baba yao. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Unasikia hii mstari? Have you heard about that scripture now? Ya kwamba now wale waliomkubali for those who received him wali fanyika kuwa wana wa Mungu na they were given authority and the power to be God's children wakapewa uwezo na mamlaka and they were given the power and ya, authority ya kuitanishwa na wana wa kama wana wa Mungu to be called God's children bwana Yesu asifiwe sana amen kwa hivyo unapoamini when you believe ya kwamba Kristo ni bwana that Jesus is Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Unafanyika kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Automatically you become now the son of God. Naye Mungu anakuwa baba yako. And now God becomes your father automatically. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Amen. Basi swali langu inakuja. Now my question comes. Huyu mtu unayemuita baba. Now the one you always call the father now in the church. Ni nini likufanya ukamuite baba? What made you to call him the father? Kwa sababu Mungu naye katika kuita Mungu baba. Now because of you calling God the father. Andike shey leza vizuri. Now the word has already explained to where yule mtu ambaye amepewa huo mamlaka na uwezo. Now the person given authority and the power kumuita baba. To call God the father. Basi huyu mwingine Now, how about this another father? Je, ni nini unafaa kufanya ni umuite baba? What makes you to call this another one to be your father? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Hao wengine others wanataka wewe umfunike katika dhambi. They want you to comfort them in the sin. Ukienda kwake umheshimu. When you go at their place you respect them. Ndio unaweza kumuita baba. So that you can call them father. Unapomkemea katika dhambi. Well, You will be here them saying now you are not my son. Amen. Au huyo mtoto now this son nimemkata I have rejected him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Who is the same to hang? This one is not by his hand because he has rebuked me. Nimekulea, nimekulea. I've been with you no shing you. Lakini sasa leo, but today, unanisimama na mimi. Now you can stand with me. Uanze kunikosoa and now you can rebuke me. Bali nimefanya makosa. Where I've done wrong. Sasa nimekukata. Now I have rejected you. You are not my son. Who is the same to hang? You are not my son. I have rejected you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Unaona kwenye viongozi wa dunia you saw how now these leaders of this earth you are potov how wicked they are Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen 
Ni waulize swali. Let me ask you a question. Wale ambao wanakanga katika vita ambazo zimetengwa. There's a people who sit for <laughs> the sin that have been set aside. Asimame katika madhabahu when they stand on altar. Alipo kudanganya and they cheat you. Uamuke umkeme. And then you stand and rebuke this person in the center. Unadhani utakaa hapo? Do you think are you going to sit to sit there? Hata kabla hutamaliza kukaa. Even before you sit, utapata mabouncers na bodyguards. Then you will get the bouncers and the bodyguards. Wameshakuinua miguu iko tu juu ya ready coming you and you are walking on air. Wanakupeleka nje, taking you outside. Kwa sababu umekosoa baba because you have rebuked their father. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Baba yetu ni mmoja, our father is one. Ambaye ni Mungu. That one is God himself. Na alitupatia huo uwezo and he gave us that authority and power. Tulipo mkubali. When we received him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Hapo ndio wakati tulipewa huo uwezo. That is the time we are given the authority and the power to call God our father. Kwa hivyo mimi hata nikiona watu wanaitana dalili dalili dalili. When I see people calling the pastor calling the bishop of father father Najonga watu wameshapotea kitabu. Oh, these people they have been tumbled by their uncle. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. How are you? These are people who are jerewi. They don't understand themselves. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Makanisa mengi sasa hivi tokienda. Many churches now is even in now. Mkina mtu akiamka. When everyone stands up, daddy, father. Anaanza na daddy. Hey, how to start with the father? Then anaenda kwa wengine. Then you go to another people. Baba, now father. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Wakati baba aliniomba, when am my father pray for me? Wakati baba aliniekelea mikono, when the father put his hand on me. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Wakati baba aliniambia nitume dhabihu, when my father told me now to send a sacrifice. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kanisa ni baba baba mpaka jioni. Now the only church everything is a father father till evening. Kama unajua ukiwa nje if you don't know when you're outside unadhani ni baba Mungu you might think that they're talking about God himself kumbe wanaongea kuhusu mwingine kama ni nadhani to they're talking about the thing we are we sitting with them huyu mtu ambaye anawanyanganya they are talking about the robber who is robbing them na anawelekeza kuzimu and misleading them bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na kwa sababu hawa pia baba mikono hawa pia wamejitanganya wameroba they have been be witched wana shangilia they are also celebrating baba sipokuja kwa ibada now if the father does not come in the service ibada itakuwa mzuri now the service is not good bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen baba yetu ni mmoja our father is one kwa hivyo kuanzia leo now from today tuna ninapomaliza as i wonder tembea ukijua kwamba uko na baba mmoja understand that when you are walking you are having one father ambaye ni mungu that is god him as a kuomba the one who created na pia akakupatia uwezo na mamlaka give you the power and authority bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen usi ngaiike kwa macho ya binadamu not the be deceived by the satan na pia usiogope and do not fear satan kwa keme hao watu rebuke satan kwa sababu hao wote wanaribu injili because these are the people misleading the gospel bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen wanapotosha neno la mungu they are misleading the gospel maandiko yametueleza kwamba wanakuja na maandiko na mistari and the bible said they come with the bible verses ili ili ya kutudanganya nazo so they can trap us ili hali maandiko yametueleza kwamba and the bible has said to we should not even call someone a teacher wala baba or a father hata kiongozi even a leader bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen kwa sababu kiongozi wetu ni mmoja na our leader is one bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen ambaye anatuongoza sisi sote that is leading us even leading the kings na sisi nazo ni ndugu na madada and all of us we are the brothers and the sisters bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen huyo mungu and that god yanaongoza kila kiumbe hapa duniani is leading every creature i tell you hiki kiwango chako it doesn't matter your status asa ujiite nabii even if you are calling as a prophet hata ujiite askofu even if you are calling to be a bishop hata ujiite mfalme even if you are a king hata uwe daktari even if you are a doctor hata uwe mtu wa aina gani even if you are what type of a type of, of a person kiongozi ni mmoja our leader is one ambaye ni Mungu that is God himself kwa nini asifiwe sana amen kwa hivyo hata ujiite majina mazuri kiasi gani hapa duniani if you call you are of good names Jua tu ya kwamba understand unajeroga you are just weak kwa sababu kiongozi ni mmoja because our leader is one ambaye ni Mungu and is God himself na yeye anatuongoza and is leading us na anatuelekeza leading us in everything Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana amen kwa hivyo usiwe muoga do not fear ili ukaweze kuingia katika kudanganyika kudanganyika so that you can be trapped by the devil Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana amen na bado tumeelewana Now I think from there, uh, people have done something. 
Ninaamini kwamba kuanzia leo and understand from today. Hata watu ambao watafuata hii hii mahubiri and the people who are going to follow these things on YouTube katika YouTube and on our YouTube. Ninaamini kwamba watakemea watu and they are going to rebuke this tips. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa sababu umeshajua ukweli because now they you have known the truth. Kwa sababu wamedanganywa ya kutosha because you have been deceived for many times. Lakini leo but today Mungu ameshatuelekeza. We have already understand the truth. Na ametufunulia and have been in the field kwa razao or their tricks jinsi wanavyotumika how they come to trap people kwa ajili ya kudanganya na kulagai na kupotesha watu so that they people in their net bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen nani akona swali kufikia malipo is having any question from there amen. yes hapa mke mesema we have only one father yes What about the father who gave birth to you? Amen. Yeah, John, John chapter 1, verse number 13. Mm-hmm. They did not become God's children by natural means. That is by being born as the children of human father. Ai. Ah. Ndio kwa hiyo si kwa Ya kwamba hawakufanyika wana wa Mungu kwa jinsi ya kidunia. We did not become God's son by physical means. You understand that? Amen. Hawakufanyika wana wa Mungu kwa jinsi ya kidunia. They did not become God's son by physical means. Bali hawa walifanyika kwa wana wa Mungu. But we become God's son kwa ajili ya kumpokea. And when we receive him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. This is not spiritual. Ambaye maandiko yanasema kwamba Mungu peke yake yalikuwa baba. Now God alone is our father. In the hapa tunaongea in the spiritual world. Now we are talking about the spiritual father who is the general or above all the fathers. Unasikia? Amen. Kwa hivyo tuko na biological father awe and tuko na baba huyu wa mwili tu yule ambaye alikuzaa by physical means and the one that was being used to for you to be given a birth physical kwa nini sasa sasa lakini sasa tuko na baba wetu now we have our father ambaye ndiye Mungu now is God sasa nilikuwa naeleza kuhusu huyu Mungu sana now about God who is above our father physical the father kwa nini sasa sasa amen hapa na haya nilianza kueleza ya kwamba kuna baba wa kimwili we have a physical father and a spiritual father na nikaeleza kwamba huyu alikutana mtu wa kike alikutana na mtu wa kiume a physical father they have to meet men and female na nikaeleza kwamba watafanya ngono and they did the sex mbegu ya kike na ya kiume zikakutana and these two sisters they come together mtu akaumbwa mali pale and someone came up akazalewa and then it was being conceived. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Huyu mtu anapotazama hao wazazi, when this person looks at the parents, how are the biological parents? How are the wazazi wa kimwili? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amina. How are the wazazi wa kimwili? Now this are the biological parents. Kufikia hapo tuko sawa? Ah, we are fine. Basi katika a uh, baba yetu katika mambo ya kiroho now when we come to spiritual matters now tukiongea kuhusu Mungu kukua baba yetu when we talk about go to be our father now in the spiritual realm ndio maandiko yanasema ya kwamba now the bible says ya kwamba tulikubalika kuitwa wana wa Mungu na we were called his son wakati tulipomkubali na kumpokea when we received him bwana Yesu asifiwe sana amen huyu Mungu Now this God. Sasa si baba yako peke yake. Now is not your father you alone. Huyu ni baba wa kila mtu. Now is the father of every. Yeye yote atakayemwamini Yesu. Yeah, no one who believes in Jesus. Ataingia katika ufalme. Now he become Jesus becomes his father. Na mtakuwa madugu na madada. And all of us will become one father. Na mtakuwa mnashare baba mmoja ambaye ni Mungu. And all of us will be sharing one father. Kwa hivyo mtakuwa familia moja. Now we become one family. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Nenda kwa swali nyingine. Nataka maswali. Bwana Zwali. Eh. Tuna kile kitu yenye inaitwa tapping tapping the anointing. Eh. Ah. Uh, Kwa hiyo tap the anointing yeah. we need to 
take you are offering all the time mm. to your spiritual father mm -hmm. so that uh, you can get onto another level you can go to another level yes so without uh, taking that tight to your spiritual father mm -hmm. it is very hard for you to go to another level spiritually man i don't know if it is right my question is mimi acha nianze na mtungaji leo tunasanja the pastor nataka kuuliza swali i want to ask the question ambaye mwenyewe akajibu ah ni mimi sasa kule tangu waanze kuanza kunijua since the day you knew me ni wapi wanga ninatapa anointing where have you seen me tapping anointing Where do you go for anointing tapping? Where do you go for anointing tapping? He is asking a very good question. Ya kwamba katika huduma now there is in the church. Ukitaka kukua kiroho. If you want to go to another level spiritually. Ati lazima uwe na mtu ambao unamuita baba. You have to have someone who is called as a spiritual father. Sasa huyo mtu utakuwa anaenda kwake. And you have to be reporting to this person. Na dabiu zako. And with your sacrifice. Ati uweze ku tap anointing. So that you can tap his anointing. Kwa hiyo sasa sasa. Amen. Hao ni ngani ni wakora? This robbers. Hao ni wakora sana. Are the very quick stuff. Hao wapo wanatafuta maandiko za agano za kale. These people they are looking for the Old Testament framing their own understanding. Hao ndio wanakuiza ndio wanakujanga nazo. And they come with it. Waleta tu sasa. Amen. Na unaposikia and when you hear it. Unasema hata mimi hata nitafute baba sasa. Even now is that saying let me also look for the father. Nianze kutapa noise. I can stop tapping the noise. Nikuulize. Let me ask a question. Hiyo karama ambayo una uko nayo, the gift you have. Nani alikupatia? Who gave you? Ni nani? God. Ah watu kama wana karama. Hiyo karama ambayo uko nayo, nani alikupatia? The gift that you have, who gave you? Ni Mungu. But my question is Mbona waje Mungu ambaye alikupatia hii karama waanze kufuata binadamu? When you leave the God who gave you the gift and you start following a man. It's a problem. Nauliza swali. Mbona waje Mungu aliyekupatia karama? Why should you leave the God who gave you that gift and then you go to start tapping anointing to the thief? Why is this sir? Amen. Mbona na vile kiwango unasikia wanasema it's to a point ya kwamba unaona kwa hiyo sikuizi fulani ya ubiri kama mtu fulani. Ah you see that now the way this guy is preaching like under pastor. Bwana Yesu asante sana. Amen. And I told you Nabi kama mtu fulani. He is not prophesizing like the under pastor. My friend you get in I kwani kutapa 19. That one is not tapping and doing. Inakwanga ni kulipa fee. That one is a paying the fee. Bwana Yesu asante sana. Amen. Unapopeleka when you pay. Unapewa platform. Then you are going to be given a platform. Bwana Yesu asante sana. Amen. Ah naona sikuizi unaendelea umejua kubiri. Now this you now you are going well you know how to preach na kwa sababu si karama ya roho mtakatifu and because it's not a gift of the holy spirit utafanya venye anafanya you will have to do the way he is doing kwa hivyo kama anaelekea katika dhambi he is doing it in the same way hata wewe pia unaelekea huko huko so do the same kwa nini sasa sana amen kama nilikuwa nafanya ukora when he was a trickster my friend also you hata wewe utafanya ukora The same way he was doing, the same way he will do. Kwa sababu tunaenda kwa baba because you are going to the father. Na umemheshimu and you respect the father. Unataka kuongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu. You are refused to be directed by the Holy Spirit. Unataka kuongozwa na baba. You want to be to be led by this physical father. Sasa enda utapa anointing kutoka kwa baba. You go and tap anointing. The following day, the following day, utafanya the same same. You will start behaving like that thief. Bwana Yesu asante sana. Amen. Na sasa hapo and there ni kama panya kuzaa panya and it will be like a rat giving but a rat how the ways that the ways when i'm guessing and i'm telling you this one is increasement of robbers why is it so amen kwa sababu panya anazaa panya a rat will give but to a rat na panya kwa sababu ni mwizi and because a rat is a thief how it is that panya basi mwizi you will make you also give the same same rat that is the thief like sasa hebu imagine kitu kama hiyo na try to imagine like that eh yeah? In the next 10 years hiyo kanisa itakuwa na inakuwa na wezi zaidi ya mia. After 10 years now the church will be full of thieves. Na usipojijua and if you don't understand hata wezi hata washirika pia wanakuwa wezi kwa hiyo. And even the, the members they will become thieves and the whole church will be dead of. Kwa sababu watakuwa wanatapa waiting huku. Because they are tapping and waiting from thieves. Na message ambayo imetoka huku. And the message from thieves. Yao pia wanaenda naye. And those they become thieves like the thieves. Bwana Yesu asante sana. Amen. 
There is nothing like tapping anointing. The anointing we are talking about is God Himself giving you that gift. When God puts something in you and then you understand and you start serving, and God Himself will start expanding for His own glory. When is the Amen. Manika na lazima kwamba anatupatia karama kati ya uwezo wake. He gives us a gift according to the way he is pleased with us. Bwana Yesu sana. Amen. Si kulingana na mawazo ya binadamu. Not according to our own understanding. Bwana Yesu sana. Amen. Hiki nimefanyika mpaka unapata mtumishi anapeleka fungu gunia. Now even this is happening as someone is taking now even a sack of something to the church. Anaenda kutap anointing. He is going to tap anointing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Anaporudi, when he comes, nasikia sasa nitakuwa powerful. Now I am going to be very powerful and tap the anointing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Nani kuna swali la mwisho? Who is having a last question? Hapo kuna swali. Yes. Kuna swali. Uliza. Kuna kitu ilikuwa inanisumbua sana kimawazo ile umefundisha ya kwamba yes kuna kuna mtu sema it's not good to to rectify your father yes to sema for example your biological dad yes kuna mtu sema kwamba akifanya kitu alafu murekebishe anaweza kuachia laana yes so tuseme for example uko na baba mm -hmm baba yako si ndio yes ako na uwezo wa kushughulikia wewe kama mtoto wewe ni wewe ni mtoto wake yes lakini sasa amekuweka kando instead of kukushughulikia your needs tuseme for example paying the school fees ama hiyo mahitaji nyingine ni unahitaji kama kama mtoto kwa kwa mzazi na ako na yeye uwezo alafu uanze kusema kwamba anafanya makosa kwa ku, kukuweka kando na kwa na uwezo wa kushughulikia hiyo jambo anashughulika na mambo mengine huko nje yenye haiwezi kawasaidia yenye is it bad to do that jibu iko hapa amen bwana ndio sasa sana amen anaoleza swali nzuri he has asked a very a fantastic question hapa kuna kukosoa mtu here there is correction or rebuking someone katika neno <laughs> in the word of oh, Bwana Yesu Kristo. Amen. Eh? Unaona? Na kuna ile ya kumkosoa ile ya kimadharau and also this one of rebuking someone but with this spice. Ile ya ile ya kuona kujiona kwamba mimi pendi mtu mzima. Also you rebuke someone but you you, you you are doing it with a very negative agenda. Ama kulingana ukimtazama or the way you look at that person unaweza pengine umemzidi kimasomo maybe you say maybe you, 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 are, you are educated more than that person ama umemzidi kifedha or you are richer than this person so unapata unaingiwa na kiburi so you have got the pride when you rebuke people when is this sir amen haya haya maneno mawili lazima tuangalie there are two different here things on how to rebuke people wakati unapomkosoa katika neno if you rebuke someone in the word Amina. Hata kama ni babako wa kiroho. Even if it's your father, unamwambia amtumishi and you tell the servant. Umemfundisha vizuri? Yes, you have taught very well. Umesema vizuri? You have said very well. Lakini hapa na hapa, but here and here, sio ni kiendana na neno. Try to elaborate. It is not going according to the word. Kwa sababu mimi kulingana na mawazo yangu na kuelewa kwangu, according to my own understanding. Maandiko yamesema 1 2 3. The Bible says this and this. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Wewe mtu hata akikukemea, hata kikulaani, even if this person will rebuke you or 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 curse you. Hiyo laana itaenda this la this gas it has unguka it will go and start roaming around ina kosa mali pa kuenda and it will not get a place to tour ina rudi kwa and it will come to him bwana ndio sasa amen yeye kwanza usiogope that one should not fear anyone to rebuke mzazi now our own parent when you are not kuna mzazi if you are having just our own parent the big bad is called parents mzazi ni sawa ako na haki ya kuku simamia katika kila kitu yes a parent is supposed to do all the keeping for you na anapofika wakati anaacha kufanya but if he's not doing na umeona ni vizuri ukaweza kumrekebisha and you see it very well to, re to rebuke your father kuna 
There is a way you are supposed to approach it. Amen. Now, a parent will not just call her and you start <laughs> now we're looking her. Amen. Even if you are right, <laughs> that's not the way you're supposed to be correcting. A if you want to, to rebuke a parent, book an appointment. It is good for you to discuss and have a good time. And start preparing that parent. Now, for example, here we are in the town. Now our parent is in the rural area. Call the parent. Hello. Yes, hello. Father, how are you doing? Are you okay? We thank God. We are also very fine. I have some other things that are disturbing my heart. I want to find out if I can come on this server. If I will manage to come. I would want us to sit down and table it. Amen. You have to find a way on how to correct matters. No, you, you have to get a way of correcting matters, not just to enter in them like that. When you start preparing, when you are going to rebuke something, even the person will start asking, this son, now this person is mature. If he can be down, but now he's remembering how he can come and with table matters. Let me also allow that person to come and we discuss. And even the parent will call you later. How urgent, how urgent is that one? We can even discuss on the phone. Ah, don't worry, my father, it's about our own things. Ah, I sort it. It's not urgent, we will just work on it. But this is your son. Amen. That one is a good way on to deal with matters. Yes, even in the past, you will recommend you to be a very good person. When really you will meet. You have to come up with a good word first to please. As you prepare for 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 rebuking her, but and then later you can now start now punching the bombs. Don't put your mama aside. You bring them together. When you separate them, then you will know this one is a plan. This person has been prepared with another person, not the father. When you are with the father, Mama and Papa, go and go. What is what's good? Ah, my father and mother are good, good parents. Now, metulea kuanidam. And you have uh, uh, brought us in a discipline way. Ata katika maisha yetu ya uko mjini. Even uh, in our life at town. Maisha ya kuwa mzito kwa sababu ya jinsi ulivyo tulea. Even life is good the way you go. Ata yana anza kusikia kumbe niliza binadam. Even the parent who does not sing how he has been given back to human beings. Mwana yuza suwe sana. Amen. Okay, kuna mwaka 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 on this issue and on this issue. I'm saying this issue is very uh, heavy. We, we need to, to come up and table it. And then we will ask what? And then you start explaining. For example, the, the, the example he gave about now paying school fees. Uh, no, uh, when our, 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 uh, our child now entered form one, you try the very hard if you don't think so are very hot. And he will even continue the education. But when he reached form two, now money disappeared. Even I could even wonder how your father cannot even go to school and even explain yourself. And even this is when I tell my father, my mother. And mom tells me that you are the one who is responsible. And I tell you, my friend. When you finish, 
Nasikia babaka nakwambia Yuri here your father say umeleta jambo nzuri sana you have brought a very good matter Kumbe mnaonaanga kila baada ya kwa hii family Now you see what happens on this family Sasa msikize Now you have to listen Hii jambo mamako pia anajua Even this one your fa- mom knows about it Lakini kwa sababu ulikuja kwa njia nzuri But now because you came with a good way mtatengeneza Now you will have to resolve it Mtoto aende shule and the child will go to school kupitia hiyo issue ya huyo mtoto now through that issue of that child pengine amani ilikosekana kwa ndoa maybe there was lack of peace in the marriage ikafanya mtoto akae kwa nyumba that made this child now to sit kulingana na hiki ambacho ulitumia now because of the wisdom you use Ema, amani merudi kwa ndoa na even peace in the marriage wali watoto wanasoma and even children that are going to school now you have done a very good job ama sikazi mzuri wapana you have done a very good job lakini kama ukiwa mtu kupiga simu hapo but if you are the, that type of a person you just calling baba sisi tu kupiga simu tuzae ah we did not even call a phone uh, uh, contact you so that you give but kwa sababu mlituzaa tu bure because you just gave but us really na tunataka tunateseka and leaving us just uh, uh, suffering here akianza kutamka maneno ya lana ya lana if you will start mentioning cases on you ndani ndoko wadani all be having a problem now kama huko ngaiyo kama majukumu yetu yametushinda nyingine <laughs> hilo ya hiyo mambo hiyo ya mtoto na uh, jambo kama hilo nitaongezea tu ile umesema mm. ya kwamba hapa pia tuna mambo mawili mm. utaangalia watu wako kwa dunia ama wameokoka mm. bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen tusema kwamba mimi nimeokoka mm. na baba yangu mm. ajaokoka ama hata ameokoka mm. na amekataa kusomesha mtoto wetu mm. ama mtoto wake Biblia inasema hivi. Usimtegemee mwanadamu. Na mwanadamu basi ilimaanisha yote si ndugu yangu peke yake. Amina. Amina. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mimi nafanya nikimbilia tu babaangu mwenye umesema hapa kwa kwa madabahu. Amina. Nimwambie. Ye mwenyewe asomeshe mtoto. Mungu ndiye atasomesha mtoto. Na kama Mungu atatumia huyo 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 tu mwenye amekataa, ataamua atafika pale kwake, atamsurutisha, atasomesha mtoto. Amen. Maana nitakuwa nimepeleka maombi kwa baba. Amen. Amen. Yeko Now you can even now listen to the answers being given out. Inamaanisha hata Mungu pia anaweza provide. Even God can provide. Bwana sipe sana. Amen. Lakini hata wewe, even you. Lazima uwe umeshafanya sehemu yako. You have also to do your part by putting your faith on God. Bwana sipe sana. Amen. Amen. Kwa sababu Unapo waongelesha mtu ambaye amekoka mtu ambaye anaongozwa because the people who are, 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 are saved these are the people being led na unapoenda kumongelesha if you go to approach them maybe kama ni mtu ambaye hajamjua Mungu if he does not know God kitu nimejea jambo la kwanza the first thing Mungu ata anaweza mshurutisha kama afanye God can command the person to continue doing what is supposed to be done ama or abaki na ukweli or the person just to receive the truth akisha baki na ukweli when the person has the truth now i'm going there again may god can open another door but let's be sad amen hiyo pia iko that one is also there nimemaliza mafundisho now we can stop from there amen amen mungu awabariki amen amen amen